even Satoshi talked about this. So if you go back on Bitcoin Talk, he actually proposed the concept of using merge mining to create subchains of Bitcoin. And the first sort of use of it was Namecoin. So Namecoin came up with this idea. They were kind of the original concept of trying to do a decentralized DNS project. And the issue is when you create a secondary chain, you're still trying to get the property of immutability. And when we talk about proof of work, the property is economically derived. So if I want immutability, my immutability is really only as good as the cost of creating an attack on that immutability, which then goes back to how much resource was disposed in making something immutable, i.e. how much work. And so effectively how Namecoin works is you create a Namecoin header, which is valid in Namecoin. But Namecoin also recognizes Bitcoin headers. And Bitcoin headers have an extra data field. So if you construct a Bitcoin header and you then take a Namecoin header and the hash of that header and put it in an extra data field, and then that becomes a valid Bitcoin block, Namecoin recognizes that as a valid block. Namecoin is essentially getting linked into Bitcoin. And all we have to do at that point is incentivize the miners enough to include the Namecoin header in the extra data field of the Bitcoin block. So then every time a Namecoin block is found with a Bitcoin block to roll that back or sort of create a, an attack on the record, you would then have to overcome the work of the Bitcoin blockchain, not just the work that's directly incentivized on the Namecoin chain. If right. something happens in Namecoin, Bitcoin doesn't care. That creates a loosely coupled system. So it allows the immutability to advance, but the Bitcoiners aren't actually guaranteeing what's going on in Namecoin because they have no real responsibility for it. So now if we create a closely coupled protocol, you, you can enhance what that is beyond just you know, creating an immutable reference for the subordinate blockchain, but you're actually creating a cross-chain protocol that's validating each other. So the protocol say the same in every scenario. So uh, specifically in Quai, then we have a hierarchy. So it's a pyramid-shaped thing. We have a prime blockchain, we have region blockchains, and we have zone blockchains. And if you want to mine in Quai, you have to mine at least a slice. So you have to mine prime, you get to pick a region, and then you have to pick a zone under that region. But to produce valid headers, you have to be producing in three contexts. And any block in any context in that hierarchy, if you find a block and it's valid in prime, but it's also referencing a region and zone, if the region block or a zone block is invalid, that's not a valid prime block. So all your peers will then reject it. So that's how we get a closely coupled system.